Greg, the bionic arm is like something from the movies, like you said, Lauren. It lets amputees not only grasp objects, it gives them a sense of touchback, too. Mott says he lost his hand in an accident 17 years ago. But now he says this new clinical trial he's a part of is giving him hope. Well, we had to go through quite a process to get up to using the Luke arm. They did a lot of testing, a lot of computer work. But by the time we got there, it was totally amazing. The bionic arm he's been using is called the Luke arm, after the one Luke Skywalker uses in Star Wars. The arm itself was made by a New Hampshire-based company. The basic idea is, to some extent, to recreate the human hand so that the user can move it just by thinking about it and then ideally also get a sense of touch back from the hand. This means Kevin can perform more delicate tasks that would usually be impossible with a standard prosthetic arm. It's a corrugated wall and I was able to feel the bumps on the corrugation. And that was the first time in 13 years that I'd ever done that and that was just, it, it about made me cry. It was, it was exciting. The engineers working on this project say the Luke arm taps into existing muscles and nerves. For now, the person using it is either tethered to a stack of computers or can use a more portable device that requires an engineer to operate. We're trying to move these towards more portable systems um, as well as making them wirelessly. I was sad that I couldn't take it out of the lab. Despite this, Kevin says he's excited about what the future holds, especially after being able to hold onto his wife's hands with both his biological and bionic hands. When I touched her hand, was able to feel, and then uh, we eventually clasped hands with both hands. It was, it was rather very emotional. Now, the engineers working on this say they're close to take-home trials, but they're not quite there yet. They're aiming for that to happen next year or in 2021, but definitely some very cool news for sure. And doing this story, I saw, you know, so much cool work going on, and to see it with your own eyes, it's something, something unbelievable. It's, I mean, seriously, that, I, I can't even imagine that that would be happening in our lifetime, that just thinking something right. and then being able to feel, like he actually could feel through that hand. Yeah. That's so Amazing. neat. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. You're welcome, Lauren. Yeah, if you want to connect with Jordan, you can find him on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.